Hey everybody, it's Noelle again. I'm going to show you how to do a ragdoll makeup and then how to transition the ragdoll into like a dark gothic ragdoll look. Um, here's Ellie, our beautiful model. Start with a clean face. Put on a nice satiny finish foundation all over the face. Maybe like a shade lighter than your natural skin tone just to give it more of that dolly porcelain look. Correct any, you know, little spots or under eye problems with concealer. Blending it out really nice. Make sure that the skin looks really smooth and perfect and take away any ruddiness. Okay, so cream pink cheeks. Be liberal with the pink cheeks because it's a doll, so you can get as crazy as you want with the pink on the cheeks. Right on the apple, really make sure that you center it on the apple of the cheek to get that doll-like appearance. A little powder. Use a bright pastel on the lid. Any color that you want, whatever goes with your costume. I'm using turquoise just because I think it's very doll-like. Pack it onto the lid um, with the brush. You might not want to brush side to side on the actual lid. You, you probably want to pack it in just to make sure the color is really vibrant. Curl the lashes extra, extra good. I know I always say curl the eyelashes, but curl them really great with this because it's a doll and it's all about the eyelashes. Use a full strip lash. Use the longest, chunkiest, craziest ones you can find um, because that's really the focal point of the doll makeup is the eyes. Use a little brown matte shadow just in the center of the bottom eye and a little white pencil inside so you get a really nice bright doll-like look. Use a full strip of lashes on the bottom and lots and lots and lots of mascara really tweaky. You can also use a white liquid liner on the edges just as an option if you want it to look a little more wide-eyed and freckles always. Lots and lots of freckles. I just use you know an eyeliner pencil something in a medium brown and pink on the lips. I always use pink on the lips just because it's the most innocent and sweet and doll-like looking. Okay now it's sexy doll pigtails. You're gonna back come at the root so that you have some volume and put them right at mid ear. Fasten them. Then to put the hat on, you wanna make sure the fringe is out in the front and that the ruffle's fully fluffed out and that the pigtails are volumed and just sticking right below it. Okay, so now we're going to transition into the dark doll. This is a more goth look, so all I'm really going to do is change the lips. Um, I like to use burgundy, anything dark and matte, whatever you prefer, even black if you want to be really dramatic, like a Nightmare Before Christmas kind of, you know, goth doll, whatever you choose. Um, and I always like a matte texture. Clean up any edges and add a little bit on the eyes. I'm going to do a little dark purple in the socket. There you go.